2023, here is Roll Mitchell leading the Demon Deacons in school. Not ranked, but they are red hot, and Everly has also been red, red hot. He has been the leader of this team, Kyle. Here's Roll Mitchell getting in behind Mitchell. Oh, he tried to put his foot at Flax. Just a little left. Flax has continuously told me and looked at me, it's coming. Escribato. Oh, another great pass. Thomas has some options. Thomas, little extra touch. Has Cummins as a support. Use a left foot to swing it across. Here's Flax. And Flax, here's Roll Mitchell. Bang, bang, bang. It's 1 0. Deacons go on top. Wake Forest just peppering the goal mouth with shots into the goalkeeper's hands, but it got blocked. And then runs right. Look at this. Block. The goalie had it. And then it falls right to Rold Mitchell. If you're going to clear it like that, mm -hmm. it's got to go away from danger. Instead, he clears it right to Rold Mitchell. Really? I mean, he was also involved in some of those attacks. This is still headed into the 18. And diving to his right is Trey Salfin to punch that one away. Salfin, who is part of that. He has made some huge saves this year. And there's another one. For Wake Forest and Coach Musa, it will come back. But you could see it. I mean, you could see Kojima. Flashes of the Kojima we saw last year. He's going to get there. It's Rold Mitchell. Make it to the breaks for number nine. That is number seven here in 2023. Rold Mitchell's shot is like a Mariano Rivera fastball. This comes from really from nothing. It's it's a, a poor touch by the defender, feeds him right through, and Rold Mitchell is positioned well to take advantage of that mistake. And the maestro in the middle is Swallet. Jeffrey White, White, right foot, popped over the bar by Franzen. This is a brilliant hit. He didn't have very very many options. They were all defended, so he just said, all right, I'll take it myself. Look at he's got to make sure they're... Perfectly spotless. Left-footed corner curling. And this will result in a goal. As set pieces have become an issue, has kind of gone away. But this time, Lucas Kelly, it was essential that Liberty could bounce back. Yeah, and all he does is back his defender down. Well, I, I thought he had backed a... a Wake Forest defender down. Instead, he just positions himself perfectly. To Almost back to back as targets for the cross on the corner. It's cut out, but right back into the mixer. And Rob Mitchell plays it back to Wallent to send it right back and watch this wave of attack. Here's Sidney Paris, and it bangs, and it threads past the keeper and in for the third goal of this contest. And once again, Sidney Paris, the energy spark. Wonderful ball, right? There's three deeks there. Pick your poison. And it's Sidney Paris who gets on the end of it. Credit the other two in Tubbs and Forbes who let him have it. Who plays uh, at Wake Forest and gets three hat tricks in his career. As Forbes got behind that line, gives it to Cooper Flax. Cooper Flax looking for the return. Here it is. And there is. <laughs> It almost went in. Cooper Flax's luck. Finally returning back to the pitch. Julian Kennedy has a knack of scoring. Can he do it here? Croft put a nice little step over, and he blasts one, and it's knocked away. Well done by Franzen again. Goals by now, but Franzen has kept it. Just 3-1. This is a sensational save. And that's Clemson. They are well known for their overwhelming press. It's a lot more active than we've seen from Liberty. And just inches away from making it 3-2. And another look at this. This is from a tight angle. Garrison Tubbs beat and that just, this is very good preparation for playing a team like Clemson. Kennedy, Ponce's there. Kennedy going near stick and a kick save by Franzen. So we will not see a hat trick by Rold Mitchell. We will not see the fourth goal by the Demon Deacons.